Okay guys, I am in London and behind me is the Bare Minerals store. So I have come into London today. I'm gonna to be taking you on kind of like a two day vlog. So I've come to the Bare Minerals store to use one of the newest foundations and kind of just have a talk through of some of the products that I have been using for a while and then some of their newer ones. And then I'm gonna take you with me. We're off to an event tonight. And then tomorrow I'm gonna to kind of like recreate the everyday makeup look. Um, so you guys can kind of like see how easy it is to do. Take you on a walk with Simba, maybe take you to yoga, take you to the gym, all that kind of stuff. So it's gonna be kind of like a little vlog, but a fun one. Oh, I nearly just hit someone in the head with my camera. <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm in the hot seat, I'm ready to have it done. I have just used this, which is the Complexion Rescue Defense. So it's SPS and it protects against blue light as well, which is awesome because we're all on our phones so much. So I've literally just had this applied first um, and then we're gonna start building upon it now. Okay, so this is a primer and it's totally clear and it's going on my face. So what will it do? So it'll just smooth everything out. It will just make sure the foundation doesn't settle in your pores okay. and it'll make sure the longevity of your foundation all day. Sounds good. Okay guys, so I've got the um, foundation on, which is the Complexion Rescue, which is this one here. And I've got it on in tan, which is perfect for me now. I've been outside, I've been away quite a lot. But when I'm not, I'm gonna probably go for ginger because it'll be better for my skin tone when I'm not so tan. And I feel like we're only three products in, but I've already found like my hero product like this. Okay guys, the finished look. We just added a lip. Mascara, the lipstick, it's Bare Minerals and it's called Sex Pot and I absolutely love it. And then yeah, just a really nice mascara. It's water resistant, which is nice because waterproof kind of stresses me out a bit because it doesn't come off very well when you're actually trying to take it off. So water resistant is great. Yes, yeah, very, very, very happy. A quick shopping spree before the next Bare Minerals event and I've got, I know summer's nearly over, but I've still got retreats and traveling to do. So these two dresses are really cute. I think that they're gonna be winners. Okay, this is totally the one. This is coming home with me. I love this. Megan Ellaby, not that you watch this, but I feel like this is a bit of you. <laughs> and I think this is gonna be perfect for retreats. Just really, really easy to put on over like bikinis or whatever. Yeah, I like it. Thank you, Brandy and Melville. I will purchase these. So just out of the Bare Minerals event and it was so, so great to hear about the brand. Like I've been using the Mineral Powder Foundation for so many years and I guess it's just one of those brands that I guess just kind of thought was so just there in my life. Um, kind of forgot to chat about it and it's so cool that they're kind of coming back with a bigger campaign the power of good um, and really really hyping up the fact that it is all clean ingredients natural ingredients um, cruelty free 70% vegan with plans to hopefully one day be 100% um, vegan but it's just obviously testing and things like that they've got to get around so yeah really really excited to be part of this campaign and I guess like helping like just push kind of the brand awareness because it's a brand that I've used for so long so yeah really excited to share with you my little everyday makeup look um, which I'll show, show you in the morning after I've of course walked Simba and probably done a workout and got very sweaty then I'll show you my re-glamming good morning so just me in my pajim jams pajim jams the new word for pajamas, don't you know? Um, so I just thought I would kind of like show you a little bit of my morning routine. So I'm gonna grab a smoothie now. I'm gonna make my favorite smoothie for you guys, which I have not even put on my uh, on my Instagram before. So you're getting an exclusive. Um, this is the most delicious smoothie and really nourishing. Then I'm gonna be taking Simba out for a walk and then I'm gonna be doing my everyday makeup look um, using all the bare mineral stuff that from last night. So basically recreating that makeup look really, really kind of like natural chilled out nothing too intense it's not going to take too long because you guys know that I kind of when I do wear makeup it's quite kind of basic quite natural and I really and that's why I want to share with you um, and then I've got a day of getting out on the road so uh, so yeah I will show you what I get up to this morning I might even throw a bit of a yoga flow in there actually yeah I think I'm gonna have a wiggle round in my mat right now
a bit of an overcast day today, but Simba is out, so he's loving it. And we're so lucky to just have this field on our doorstep, and there's always so many dogs who've got Luna ahead of us, and then this crazy little whippet somewhere behind these trees. So Simba's gonna have a great day. Go on, you're in the water. <laughs> oh I just got home from the dog walk and Rob left me a little note this is so cute he's never done this before this is adorable I love this so in here I have got banana, pineapple, mango, spinach, a chunk of fresh ginger, flaxseed, turmeric, and then depending on what time of day I have it, so for me this is a breakfast smoothie, so I'm gonna add some oats, and I'm gonna also add some vegan protein powder, blend it all up with almond milk. It's gonna be delicious. I got a little bit carried away with the amount of almond milk, but still, always a metal straw ready to drink. Okay guys, so the final thing that I need to do before I head out for the day is sort my face out. Um, so I'm gonna try and recreate the kind of everyday sort of simple look that I had done yesterday in the Bare Minerals store. I've got all my Bare Minerals products and I'm just gonna take you through each one and kind of show you what it's like when I put them on. Um, this is a brand, like I said before, that I've been using for so many years. So it's just nice to kind of have like the newer products that I can now start applying. Um, and the great thing about Bare Minerals and the reason that I love them is because it's they're all about clean without compromise and what that means is that the products that we are putting on our skin there's no harsh ingredients but it's performing just as well as any other brand out there if not better in my opinion <laughs> so we're gonna get started I'm just gonna have a quick sip of tea before we do that I must prepare myself correctly for the uh, for the job that is coming mm. so first things first I use my SPF. I use an SPF every single day. So no matter if it's summer or if it's winter, there is light out there, there's UV rays out there, even if it's super cloudy. The Complexion Rescue Defense, which is this one here, also protects against blue light, so that's everything that's coming from your phone, um, and also protects against pollution as well. So for me, on days like yesterday and today when I'm gonna have to be in London um, doing meetings, this is a really good one for me to use. I'm gonna pop this on with my hand because I just wanna get an all over feel to it and make sure I've got it absolutely everywhere. Okay. So that's that done and it's really lightweight it's all it's already absorbed um so that's a really really nice product so that's complexion rescue defense i'm going to link to everything i use below so that you guys can obviously check out each product that i use the next thing is the primer this is what i was most excited about yesterday so primer is quite a new thing for me it's not something that i've really used before and you just wait i mean you're not going to be able to see it because it's clear um it's kind of like this gel um thing here and I'm gonna put it on again with my fingers all over my face so this just primes the surface giving me a nice even surface to work with and this is I kid you not the nicest feeling thing my skin feels like silk and it kind of has that feeling where it's like, it almost feels like it's so smooth it should be wet, but that it's not wet, it's totally dry. So this primer, it's called Prime Time, is awesome. Um, then moving on to my, kind of like my hero product. This is the Tinted Moisturiser, the Complexion Rescue. I'm using it in ginger. Um, when I'm kind of traveling quite a lot, I have the tan one as well, which I would go for if I was a little bit more tanned on my face. But today I'm gonna use ginger. Um, so I, actually I'm gonna quickly show you before I put this on. This is what I have used for years and years and years. And this is the uh, Mineral Foundation. This is a slightly heavier coverage, whereas the tinted moisture moisturizer is exactly that it's a moisturizer so this is what I would use kind of like if I was going on a night out this is what I kind of use for like my everyday 
feels really, really nice and just gives me the perfect amount of coverage. Now I'm gonna use it with a brush. I'm just gonna dollop some on the back of my hand. I've got my really lovely new Bare Minerals brush and I'm gonna put it all over my face. Makeup like this just makes me um, happy because I don't feel like I'm wearing any. And by the end of it, you'll kind of see that there is, there is a difference. Like you can kind of, you can see that I've got my makeup on, but for me, it doesn't feel like I am. So especially when I have days where I'm kind of doing meetings and then maybe I want to go to a yoga class, this, uh, this especially, the Complexion Rescue, is great for that because my skin can still breathe. And when I was younger, the reason why I, was always a bit kind of funny about makeups and thick foundations and things like that was just because I always felt like my skin couldn't breathe. Um, so finding a product like this is really, really, really important. And the Complexion Rescue, the Tinted Moisturiser is also SPF 30. So extra, extra SPF love is always welcome. So I'm just gonna show you close up can you see there? So you can kind of see the coverage. It's light, it's nothing too intense. It just kind of does the job. It evens everything out. I think that I get quite, I'm gonna show you the concealer in a minute, but I get quite dark circles underneath my eyes. So even just having this all over evens out that surface really, really nicely. And it just feels so nice and light and breathable. Um, so moving on to my concealer like I already just mentioned I get quite dark circles I've always always have done so I'm using the complete coverage serum concealer in medium gold again I have a darker one for when I'm traveling if I want to kind of you know match everything up so I'm just gonna put a little bit underneath each eye and then I'm gonna use my finger to dab it all in um, I would normally, if I kind of had a few blemishes, any little spots or anything, then I would use a concealer for that as well. But at the moment, my skin is actually quite clear. And I've always actually shied away from using concealer on blemishes because of that whole unbreathable thing. But then for quite a while now, because I've had the Bare Minerals one, I've felt a lot more confident just being able to cover cover them up because I want to um, and just knowing that there's not anything like harmful going into my skin to make anything worse. This is kind of like my uh, my troublesome area where I would normally get, yeah, actually I've got a couple of little bits there but it's actually fine. I'm feeling, my skin is actually really happy at the moment which is probably because of all my wonderful makeup. Okay, so there you can see that's made a nice difference. Oh, it looks really nice. Sorry, I'm looking in the viewfinder because I'm like, oh, <laughs> you look delightful today. <laughs> okay, so then we are moving on to just a little bit of bronzer and maybe, maybe a little bit of highlighter. I haven't decided if I'm gonna highlight today. So this is the bronzer. I like, I because my body is still quite tanned from traveling, um, even though my face isn't as tanned, I like to have that kind of little bit of bronzing going on. So I always go goldy colors rather than pinks for me. I like that kind of golden color and I just, go around the edges. So I think about bronzer, and I think I'm doing this, I think this is correct, but I go about my bronzer in the way that the places where the light would hit. So kind of like your cheekbones and then around the edges. There's probably gonna be some beauty pros out there being like, no cap. But you know, I'm still a woman, I still wear makeup, so that's what I wanna share with you. So yeah, feeling good, I really like this. Also, this one's great because it comes with a little mirror, so if I ever need to do it while I'm uh, not sitting at my dressing table, then I can. Okay, then I am gonna do the highlighter because I want to show that to you. So this is the Bear Pro Glow. This one's called Fierce. So this is quite, it's, it's quite golden. I use a tiny, tiny amount, especially for daytime. I just want it to kind of, 
sparkle in the sunlight but in a really natural way and that's what this product is really great for and you really do just need a little teeny amount on each side so I'm dabbing it into each side of my finger so I've got equal parts and then I'm going across the top of my cheekbone here and it's just so it's such a nice addition it's really in the way that I'm applying it minimal but effective Oh, you can see that because I've got the window right there. So it's already hitting the light, which is really, really nice. And that's perfect for me for the daytime wear. And obviously if I wanted to go heavier on it, I definitely could. So moving on to, should we do eyebrows? Let's do my eyebrows. Um, my eyebrows are kind of, you know, like my thing. Like if I was to not do anything and I could only do one thing, that didn't make sense, but you know what I mean? If I could only do one thing, if I only had time for one thing, I would do my eyebrows just because, I don't know if I really have a reason. They're just that thing that make me feel quite kind of like powerful. Does that make sense? Having my nice strong brow um, and you just want a, a product that isn't too wet, but isn't too dry. So I've used numerous kind of pencils in the past and then gels and things like that. And they're kind of always the wrong side of the balance they're either kind of too wet and then i get this sort of wet slimy feeling or i use a pencil where i'm having to like really drag it over the top of my eye whereas this is a bit more like a crayon so it feels really nice the, oh it literally says crayon sculptor on it so sculpting pencil um and i just use it in the same way just follow the hairlines so really small movements so my eyebrows go up at the start and then they start to move over in a kind of diagonal way and I just follow those lines around. I'm not, I'm not sort of like colouring in as such, um, I'm just creating a little bit of extra line. You can see the difference actually, can't you? So that's the one that I've done, that's the one that I haven't. So I have quite a few gaps in my eyebrows naturally and I really, this one looks really cool. So yeah, I'm just gonna do the other one now. So this, yeah, is one of um, one of those products that will probably be with me forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. <laughs> and then when I'm not concentrating and I just draw all over my face, that's no good, is it? I know I mentioned this yesterday, but do remember that Bare Minerals is all cruelty free, which is a very very wonderful thing um and the tinted moisturizer moisturizer i was using was uh, vegan as well so that one there the complexion rescue that i used is a vegan tinted moisturizer which is uh very important and bare minerals have a lot of vegan products so i massively recommend checking them out not every single one of their products is vegan um just because of the coloring that is used in them but a lot of their products are so if you're unsure the staff are really really knowledgeable so if you go into a store you can just double check with a member of staff and they'll be able to let you know now the mascara so you can see i've done both of my eyebrows oh feel glamorous already um this mascara this is lashtopia so for me finding a cruelty free mascara has actually been quite hard i there's one i use for more kind of my sporty side of things but then having a mascara that is something that can take me from day into night and actually makes my i don't have naturally really long lashes so having something that can just give them a little bit of oomph without being too intense and that isn't so, so there's mascaras in the past that where maybe my skin's a bit oily, I end up getting kind of like dark bits underneath. This stays on really well, but it's nice and easy to get off when you want it to come off, which for me is really important because I hate that feeling of rubbing my eyes. Um, a lot of the time in the past, the reason why I've shied away from kind of, sometimes I'd just do this part of my makeup and then be like, oh, I don't want to put mascara on today, was because I didn't like that feeling of having to rub the mascara off in, of, in the evening when I was going to bed. Whereas this one's really nice to get off. So I will show you. I'm a bit useless at putting on mascara, so there will be a load of excess everywhere no doubt but i'm just gonna do a light application of it the 
a makeup artist, a lovely makeup artist yesterday told me a trick. So she said that when I kind of put on the, the first base bit, the first base bit, the first kind of layer, then go up and hold at the edge, at the top of each one and that will just help find a little bit of lift in the lashes. Okay, other side. So I do my layer first. I will obviously get rid of the excess before I go out. And then I just hold at the top here. I apologize if you're getting a really close up view of my nostrils. <laughs> and I'm a fan of a bottom lash. I've always done my bottom lashes as well. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on those. So I prefer a little bit of mascara on my bottom lashes rather than eyeliner. For me, I find that eyeliner makes my eyes look a little small, whereas just having a good mascara on both top and bottom kind of gives my eyes a little bit more oomph. So there, there you have it. They are all of the products that I use. That is, oh, that is me done other than lipstick. Um, this is, so I love nude lipsticks, always go for a nude. This one's called Sex Pot. I feel like it's perfect for me. <laughs> and I am just going to, oh, actually, where's my lip brush? So I've been using a lip, my mum has always used a lip brush for ever and ever. And I never really understood it. I was like, well, you can just put it on normally. And then she showed me how when I was growing up she compared the amount I was going about to get rid of a lipstick because it was at the bottom and she showed me how much more lipstick there was left in it so if you use a lip brush you get a lot more for your money um and a lot less waste so I recommend using it's quite hard to talk while I'm putting this on I recommend using a lip brush and I'm using this one from Bare Minerals I love love this color there we go she's done she's ready i'm just going to take you into the light so that you can actually just see i'm going to show you a little close up there oh did you see that highlighter just glisten how nice um i think that we're coming into the light are we coming yeah okay so that there is my makeup and i absolutely love it so thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you found that interesting and useful. So like I said, I've linked to all the products below. So hopefully you will find a few bits that you can use yourself. Um, and obviously any questions about what I use or how I apply, just pop them below. As always, I'm really open to receiving like tips, um, especially for me when it comes to like beauty and application and things. So leave me any tips or anything that you want to below in the comments section and I will get back to you. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I will see you again soon. Bye bye.